Alright guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com You might be wondering why I'm reviewing one of these Well, I recently picked one up And I had no intention of reviewing it And I thought to myself It's been years since I reviewed uh, a Zalos And I, I know these watches that the one I've got in front of me The Spearfish GMT uh, they're pretty much sold out everywhere. Um, sold out on Zealous watches themselves, obviously. Uh, and they're also sold out on Serious watches, which is an authorised dealer that I use many times. That I have used many times in the past. Uh, but I was thinking, I thought, I, I might as well just review it. Because you might want to pick one of these up uh, used or nearly new, second hand, like new in box, whatever it is. So I thought, sod it, I'm going to review it. Play the intro. Right, guys, let's get into it then. I'll try and not make this video too long. Um, right, straight into it then. The price, well, the retail price is 999 US dollars. I believe if you pre ordered this back in the day, I think these were released around about January, February last year. I think you would have got it about a hundred dollars less. But anyway, I've got to go from the retail price of 999. Fine, fair enough. And you think, oh, that's expensive. But to be honest, for what you're getting, it's perfectly fair, even at retail. Um, I, I think it does offer good value. Right then, the Zelos Spearfish GMT. Straight into the dimensions and everything else. They're all my own. Measurements as per usual So let's get in there then I'll move that a wee bit to the left uh, The right even Dozy bastard uh, Right Case diameter 40.2mm A total thickness including the sapphire Of 12.9mm Lug to lug 46.6mm Then the watch has a 20mm lug width the total weight with the bracelet sized up for my 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist is 148 grams. Lovely. The movement is a Swiss Salita SW330-2 with a custom rotor, which I'll show you in a wee, a wee well. Uh, 28,800 vibrations an hour, hackable self-winding with a 56 hour power reserve. What, what in fact is I think it's my favourite movement. If I had to choose, like from off the shelf items, I would choose the SW300 series, where it's the 300 or the 330, depending on whether it's a GMT or just a three hander. Great choice of movement, no complaints. The case. It's brushed and polished, 316L stainless steel and the Elshan at Zelos also made the decision to give it uh, a hardness coating of 1200 on the Vicar scale and this watch, even though it's over a year old, it's mint, totally unmarked, not a single Scuff anywhere, no scratches, no nothing. There's a custom rotor I was telling you about, lovely. Aye, but back to the case, really superb uh, finishing on this, it's outstanding to be honest with you. Uh, polished chamfers, fully brushed, and the brushing matches like. The bracelet to the watch head perfectly. 
It's just really nicely done. As you'd expect. I mean, I've had loads of Zelos watches in the past, but to be honest with you, I've not had a Zelos in for well over a year, anyway. Um, just I've been focusing on other brands and, well, you just need to look at my previous videos to see what I've been up to. But this is, it has reminded me on just how good Zelos are. Right, fantastic. I was supposed to be showing you the case now. Vertical brushing on the sides. Right, the bezel as well. It's also 316L stainless steel. The insert itself and is sapphire. It's a just let me check. Aye, 48 click bi directional and it's lovely. The action, I mean, tactile. Aye, that's nice. Neat. I think I, maybe that's ball bearing that's underneath that because that's what it feels like. It's really, really nice. No question. I went too far. Is that lined up? Yes. Cool. Alright, really nice bezel in case. No complaints. I've actually, to be honest with you, I've got zero complaints about this watch. At all. Uh, right. What's next? Oh, the bezel, the insert is also loomed. All oh, the arabics and markers and that are all loomed as well. I'll show you a loom shot in a wee bit. The dial, it's textured. As you can see. I do have some close-up uh, bureau. But I'll see if I can show you here. That looks good for there, actually. It's really nice. a nice texture. And this is a white dial, it's not silver or anything like that. It's lovely. Uh, faceted applied hour markers, buttons. Uh, slightly bigger at 3 and 9, with a double Kit Kat style at 12. A wee stumpy one at 6, because you've got the date above. And the date, that's how I expect all dates to be. If there's a date on the watch, it should be at 6. Uh, no, like, chromed or silver frame or anything like that. Just a nice chamfered edge. See, that looks perfect. And there is various um, colourways when this was released. I'll quickly go through them. Hang on a sec. Right, to kick off, you've got the Bumblebee version, and I have seen this up for sale, used recently. I was tempted to get that, but obviously, me being me, I opted for the white one. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, then you've got this white one, frost white, they call it. Lovely jublet, my favourite. Uh, then you have Aventurine. I've never been a fan of Aventurine dials. Never. And I don't think I ever will be. But that's an option if you want that one. And the last one is the meteorite dial. And to be honest, that's fucking gorgeous, to be honest with you. I, I tried to get that one. Couldn't find it anywhere. And I probably have to pay through the nose for it as well with it being meteorite. But I found this one, mint condition, I've no complaints whatsoever, and I'm happy I got this, to be honest with you. Uh, let's go back to my notes. Uh, right, the bracelet. Brushed and polished. There's not a lot of polish on it, just some accents. 
316L stainless steel and it also has the hardness coating on it. It is screw pins for sizing and when I sized this up I was reminded in how good these watches from Zelos are put together. Really lovely uh, screws, really good quality. Simple to size up. Uh, you've got this clasp here and it's no as good as their most current clasp where you push the button to uh, get micro adjust. But this one, it's more like glide lock. You just pull that out and slide it. And that's basically it. I, it's not as refined, obviously, as a proper Rolex uh, glide lock clasp. But how often are you going to do that? I just done it when I sized it. And I got the perfect fit. Right, lovely. The, the links are quite small, so there's no need for half links or anything like that. You've got plenty of adjustment here with this on the fly. Um, luckily, as I mentioned, the clasp has uh, the hardness coating on it, which is great because that's quite a chunk of polishing. And as you could see, if there is, if you could see any marks on camera, I mean, it's going to look different on camera. Especially when you, you know, it's done in 4K. But to my eye, it's unmarked. There's just dust coming off my glove. It's minted. Aye, really nice bracelet, no complaints, quick release. As you can see there, know that I'd ever take the bracelet off. I think it's fantastic. Extremely comfortable. Right, that's that done. The crystal, it's a flat sapphire with multiple clear uh, AR coatings on the underside. And no issues with legibility because El Shan, the owner, does white dials properly. I.e. you can see the, the dark surrounds and all the uh, hour markers and on the hands. It's perfect. The only thing I would say maybe needs a slight tweak on this white one is the GMT hand. They've made it like that baby blue but there's, even though there's loom on the, the tip that, that section there when you're looking at it uh, in daylight it's quite hard to spot. So maybe just on the tip itself, the arrow section, is maybe make that black, but keep the hand itself this baby blue. Just so you can actually spot it a bit quicker. But I'm nitpicking. Um, aye, I am, I'm nitpicking. Just a, something that you should bear in mind. No, that bothers me. Uh, right, what's next? Oh, water resistance, 200 metres on this... I wouldn't, it's not a diver. Um, I call it a sports GMT. That's what I would class it as. Uh, predominantly a GMT, but it's got like a sports watch style to it. Well, I, well, I, well, you get what I'm talking about. You can see it, it's right in front of you. Uh, the crown is 6.5 mil, which is perfect. Beautifully finished, signed, screw down, plenty of grip, and it's buttery smooth when you're using it as well. Fantastic. Uh, where to buy? Well, good luck with that. Sold out. You might find one on Chrono24 or eBay or anywhere like that. 
but just look for be diligent with your research make sure it's minted because if it has if it is a bit beat up now well obviously it's been mistreated because of this hardness coat and keeps it minty fresh longer than you think case in point this one uh, warranty wise it's the usual with Zelos one year which is disappointing uh, if you buy it from Serious Watches, the authorised dealer, you actually get two years, even with a Z loss. So, happy days. Right, I'm not going to bang on too much. It's an excellent watch. And if you have are after one of these, <clears throat> I highly recommend it. So much so, this watch, even though I'm reviewing it late, it's going on my late list. Because it'll take a lot to beat one of these. That's how good it is. So, platinum award. Right, guys. Um, thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it. Please like the video. Share it. And obviously, subscribe would be a great help to the channel. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.